The Clyde Beatty Show. The world's greatest wild animal trainer, Clyde Beatty, with an exciting adventure from his brilliant career. The circus means thrills, excitement, snarling jungle beasts. The circus means fun for young folks and old. But under the big top, you see only a part of the story. The real drama comes behind the scenes, where 500 people live as one family, where Clyde Beatty constantly risks death in the most dangerous act on Earth. This master of the big cats has journeyed to Africa and India, hunting down his beasts in their native jungle. All of this is part of the Clyde Beatty story. This is the adventure called Leopard on the Loose. We were at sea with a cargo of wild animals. The night before, the captain had said, There's nothing to worry about, Mr. Beatty. I know these waters. No danger of a storm this time of year, and no danger at all. No danger at all, he said, and the captain knew the sea, but I knew jungle creatures. There's always danger where they're concerned. And now in the pale dawn, a typhoon raged about the ship, lashing it with fury. And on the deck, a living cyclone of jungle fury spat and clawed at me. This is the story of a spotted leopard escaped on a ship at sea. The story of a leopard on the loose. You are listening to The Clyde Beatty Show. Back to Leopard on the Loose, one of Clyde Beatty's exciting adventures that began in far-off India. <laughs> the street was narrow, walled by a rough board fence. We wondered if the Gari Walla had mistaken the address, but when he brought his rattling hack to a stop before a fresco doorway, we read the sign, Sinmong Animal Exporter, Calcutta. And once inside, the luxury of the furnishings were in vivid contrast to the barrenness of the street. The oriental draperies were lush as jungle foliage, the tables and chairs rich with lacquers, and the tea we sipped was of the rarest blend. As is the custom when a bargain is to be made in the Orient, we first talked of other things. But finally, Sin Mung set down his cup and clapped his hand. Hosan, Ada, Boa, Boa, bring fruit, Ada, Ada, I bring Hosan lacks a respect for such honored guests, Mrs. Bethe. My humblest apologies. But even in Calcutta, we have a servant problem. Is Hosan a Hindu? A Malay, from the Straits Settlement. Oh, uh, isn't it unusual for Straits natives to settle in cities? Hosan is unusual, unusually lazy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, tell me, Mr. Bethe, about your cargo. You have completed your purchases? Uh, no, that's why we came to Calcutta. We haven't been able to buy a spotted leopard. The natives fear the leopard. Not many are captured. They are very vicious. We were told that uh, you might have such an animal. The gods of travel smile upon you. Your journey is ended. Then you have leopards in your compound. Not leopards, Mrs. Bete. A leopard. Boa. Here is fruit. Hosan, send Ahmed to me. Ahmed, not here. Oh, that is unfortunate, Mr. Bete. Ahmed has charge of my animals, and I expect a visitor in a few minutes. Could you perhaps uh, see my leopard tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we have to load our cargo. The Durham sails tomorrow night. Couldn't uh, Hussein here show us the leopard? And when your visitor's gone, we can talk further. Had I known you were coming, I would not have been occupied. Well, think nothing of it. We'll go with Hussein. Please to come this way, one baby. Not far to go. Clyde, you didn't seem too interested in this leopard. Why? We've tried everywhere to buy one. I didn't want Sin Mung to boost his price. You have to bargain with these traders. Oh. Never show too much interest in what they have to sell. Turn the heat, one. Hussein, uh, this leopard, do you know where Sin Mung got him? Why, from Sakai, from jungle people. They catch in traps. Then he's really right out of the jungle. Ada, yes, much wild. You want to tame Kuchin, maybe? No, I'd rather train a jungle cat any time. The domestic ones are spoiled, sometimes hard to manage. This way, Juan. Who sign know you, Juan Beatty? 
You, bees are big. Have many animals in stock. How did you know that, Hussein? Hussein know much. Very smart. Talk, mele, batik, jaya. English. But uh, how did you know about my circus? Hussein say he talk English. Hussein see you talk in movie pictures. <laughs> Imagine, Clyde, one of your movie fans in Calcutta. Uh, maybe he wants your autograph? No one to craft one job in circus. <laughs> <laughs> All time wear bath. White shirt. <laughs> I'm afraid, Hussein, that you'd not find the circus a white collar job. You know anything about animals? No, all about. Hussein, shikari, hunter in own country. Clyde, we do need a man to take care of the animals on shipboard. <laughs> you heard what Sinman said about the servant problem. We wouldn't want to steal his help. Sinman not care. Sinman tell Hussein go away anyway. Come next Saturday. You give Hussein job. All right, Hussein. Consider yourself hired. Now, where is this leopard? You come this way, between cage here. Much pleased for circus job. Much pleased. <laughs> see, see, here, Kuchang, much big. Oh, say, he's a big one. Yeah, plenty of stuff. He's a beauty. Come on, Harriet, let's see if Sin Mong's visitor's gone. I got to have that cat. Coaching. I guess that'll hold you till we get you aboard ship. Well, Mr. Beatty, got that gauge ready at last? All set, mate. Just put in a few more nails so it'll stand the strain of hoisting. Then we'll get the sling around it. Who signed? Go on. Give a hand here. Lift this cage. Lift cage? Yeah, here with me. Lift cage with Kuchin in it? Of course. Get at the end there so we can slide the sling under. Go on. Kuchin killer. He might. Maybe he claw. Out of the way, yo. I'll give you a hand. Harry, when we eave... Slip the sling under. Ada. Okay. Eve. Oh. That's it, Ali. Slide it under. Now, baby. Get it down. We look on the line. Yeah. Shut up, you blighter. Shut up. Don't mind, I'll drop you in the drink. You better keep clear, mate. That cat's in a bad humor. I saw one that wasn't. Our scattered jungle cat, I got no use for him. I ate him. All the more reason to steer clear. Cats sense those things. Ahoy! The winch! Swing this guy aboard! Now take it easy with that cage. I'm going on deck. Well, Beatty, that's the last of them, eh? Yes, Captain. Good thing there weren't more. We'll have to stow this one way up forward. Well, that's a pretty exposed position, isn't it? Isn't there any room in the hold? Not a bit. You'll be all right up there on deck. Uh, I'd better go get this crate secured. Yeah, well, you can make everything ship shape later after we get underway. <laughs> you know, there's no room for a landlubber on deck when the ship is putting out to sea. I'll see you at dinner. You're, you're eating at my table. <laughs> What's keeping Sam Purdy? Purdy? Who's he? He's a passenger we picked up in Singapore. He's been wanting to meet you two. It's hard to wait till he came aboard. He uh, he shares our table. Oh, is that so? I think you'll find him interesting. He's a writer. Been uh, been in Singapore getting material for a new book. Oh, what sort of books does he write? Well, I gather he's only written one jungle story. That's why I want you to meet him. Oh, Captain Overton, there you are. Oh, here he is now. Well, Sam, you're late. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Captain. Sorry, I was collating some notes and didn't realize it was so late. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Beatty, this is Sam Purdy. How, how do you do, do Mr. Mr. Purdy? Oh, how do you do, Mr. and Mrs. Beatty? I, I've been looking forward to meeting you ever since the captain told me we'd be picking you up in Calcutta. I, I, I feel we have a lot in common. Uh, sit down, Sam. Sit down. We've uh, we finished, but we, we'll have coffee with you. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. You know, Mr. and Mrs. Beatty, this is really a pleasure. We must have long, long talks on the voyage. Uh, Captain Overton tells us you're a writer. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, perhaps you've read my book, Jungle Fever. I don't believe so. No? Oh, no, I suppose not. It, uh, it didn't have much circulation, except in the East, of course. Uh, who's your publisher? Well, I... Uh, it, uh, it was uh, privately published. These publishing houses are so prejudiced, especially when a book has a message. A message? Oh, yes. You see, I've always been very fond of animals. I believe animals are more interesting than people. 
Don't you think so, Mr. Baker? Well, I, I'd hardly go so far as to say that. Oh, I, I, I think so. And I maintain that even the wildest animal will respond to human kindness. Uh, that's what my book is about. I'm afraid I can't agree with that entirely. Animals are unpredictable. One of the first things a trainer must learn is never to trust them. Never. Oh, now, now, I, I'm sure you don't really mean that, baby. Oh, but it's true, Mr. Freddy. You can't trust them. They're always watching, waiting to catch you off guard. Uh, well, it, it, it's a pleasure to have you aboard. I, I know we're going to have such interesting talk. Yes, we'll have so much time together. Well, I have about 50 assorted animals to look after. I'm afraid they'll keep me pretty busy. Yes, well, well, I'm looking forward to getting acquainted with every one of your animals. <laughs> I don't think you'll find them very sociable. Most of them are fresh out of the jungle. Oh, now, even the jungle beast recognizes friendship. I uh, bring that out in my book. Uh, ever been in the jungle? In the jungle? Well, no, not exactly. This is my first of the board. I... I spent two weeks at the Raffles Hotel. Not exactly jungle, the Raffles. Well, there's a bit in my book that illustrates my point. My hero is on safari, deserted by his native, injured, helpless, starving. And what do you think happens, Mrs. Baby? Uh, oh, I'm sure I wouldn't know. Well, earlier in the story, my hero has freed a lion from a trap. The beast is grateful, you see. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're coughing, Mrs. Baby. Perhaps there's a trap. Oh, no, no, I'm quite all right. Do go on with your story. Yes, go on. Well, when the hero is alone and starving, the lion comes to him, brings him food, shares the spoils of his prowess as a hunter. You know, it saves his life. It's a, a nice touch, don't you think? <coughs> <coughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. <clears throat> I, uh, I'm afraid I shall have to ask you to excuse me, Mr. Purdy. I have a lot of things to do on deck. <clears throat> I've uh, I got to leave the mate so he can have his dinner. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Well, duty before pleasure. But, uh, Mrs. Beatty, I hope you're not going to desert me. Oh. Oh, hadn't I better come with you, Clyde? Uh, it's not necessary, dear. But uh, you'll need some help. Who sign and I can manage. But uh, are you sure? <laughs> Quite sure, dear. We'll handle everything. You just have a long, long talk with Mr. Purdy. This wind is unusual for this time of year. Usually the sea is as smooth as glass. I don't mind a little wetting, but my leopard won't like it. Who signed? Hussein, where is that boy? He's never around when I want him. Oh, he's probably asleep somewhere. The natives are all alike. Well, let's take a look at the leopard. He sounds unhappy. Yeah, probably getting quite a bit of this spray up there. We're hitting the waves head on. Oh, me with you, you blighter. Come on, Captain. Something's wrong. Scully, what's the trouble? Uh, Bloke to try to claw me. Give me that board. I told you to stay away from that cat. I'll teach him some manners. Give me that board. I said give it to me. Scully, you heard, Beatty. Aye, aye, sir. Well, I'll handle this. That cat's dangerous. He isn't if you let him alone. Scully, go below and get your dinner. Aye, aye, sir. This cage should have some reinforcing boards on it. Oh, Scully, hey, wait a minute. Yes, sir. Anything else, Beatty? I'd like to rig a canvas shelter to keep some of the spray off this cat. Scully? When you come back, uh, route out the carpenter and see that he reinforces this cage and puts an awning to, to keep out the wet. Aye, aye, sir. Take it easy, Cochin. We'll have you fixed up soon. Well, this little flurry of weather should blow over by morning, Beatty. It's really not the season for a storm in these waters. I hope it does blow over. I wish we could move this cat to a more sheltered spot. Yeah. How do you expect to make a sail out of him if you cuddle it? <laughs> yeah, a little spray won't hurt him. Like all cats, he hates water. Come along out this wet, baby. Don't worry about that land. But look, if a storm... Nothing to worry about. I know these waters. No danger of a storm this time of year. No danger at all. Good morning, Harriet. Clyde, baby. I don't know whether I should speak to you or not. <laughs> Why? Because I stayed up late with the captain? I came in quietly, so not to waken you. Don't avoid the issue. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, what, my pet? We won't need you, Harriet. Have a long, long talk with Mr. Purdy. <laughs> oh, Clyde, how could you leave me stranded at the dinner table with that silly little man? <laughs> he said you had a lot in common. <laughs> He's fond of animals. He wrote a book about them. Clyde, for hours I heard about his little taste in New Jersey. 
He calls it a rancho. He raises animals. Oh, what kind of animals? You'd never guess. Lions? No. Tigers? No. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Rabbits. Rabbits? <laughs> I wonder if they, if they share their food with him like the lion did with the hero in his book. Oh, I'm sure he lives on a diet of lettuce. His nose even twitches when he gets excited. Oh, okay, the window came open. <laughs> Port hole, my dear. Don't let the captain hear you call it a window or he'll put you in iron. <clears throat> Looks like the captain was wrong last night about the weather. Storm didn't blow over. It's nasty out there. Mm, the ship's been pitching like this ever since I woke up. I don't like to see this. Coming. Tuan, Tuan. Who's Hein? What is it? Trouble, Tuan. Much trouble. Leopard, mad. Come, come fast. Much trouble on deck. We'll bring you the exciting second act of the Clyde Beatty Show in just a minute. But first, a message from our sponsor. And now, act two of Leopard on the Loose, an exciting adventure from the life of Mr. Circus himself, Clyde Beatty. <laughs> On the steamship Durham, en route from Calcutta to the United States with a cargo of wild animals, Clyde and Harriet Beatty are hurried out of their cabin by Hussein, their native helper, who brings disturbing news. Tuan, Tuan, big trouble on deck, much storm, leopard, fighting mad, you come. Be right with you, Hussein. I'm going too. Better take gun, water smash on deck, maybe upset cage. Harriet, where's that training pistol, the one with the blank cartridge? Oh, here, Clyde. More better take real bullet. Kuching get loose. You have to shoot. We're going to try to say to it that he doesn't get loose. Blank's no good if Kuching loose. He mad. You have to kill. That leopard's a beautiful animal. Nobody's going to kill him if I can help it. Are you ready, Harry? Oh, yes, Clyde. Hurry, we got to get on deck. I wish we could have stowed him below deck. He's getting a good soaking up there. No cat likes water. Careful now on these stairs. They're wet and slippery. At a time like this, I envy who's in his bare feet. High heels aren't made for slippery stairs. Where is Hussein? Can't found that boy. He always disappears when I want him. Harriet, give me a hand with this door. The wind's so strong I can't get it open. Now hang on to the safety rope, Harriet. What? Can't hear you. I said hang on to this rope or you'll be washed overboard. Go ahead. I'm right behind you. Man, oh man, what a storm. Without this rope, we'd be goners. I hope the leopard isn't a goner. He's still there. I'm plenty mad. Clyde! Clyde, I lost my hold! Clyde! Harriet, grab for the rope! I can't! Here, Missy! Who's time? Catch! Good boy, who's time? Are you all right, Harriet? I guess so. Another second, though, I'd have been overboard. Well, that's once who sang you were in the right place at the right time. Where'd you come from? Where have you been? Who sang go back to cabin. Get gone with real bullets. Who sang hunter? Shoot leopard if he get loose. Oh, no, you don't. Here, give me that gun. But Tuan. Give it to me. Ah, that's one. I give. Now, come on. Let's go see if the cage is holding together. I hope that mate did a good job reinforcing it. Clyde, look! The cage lessons are broken! Come on, if that cage starts to slide right. There it goes. The cage is sliding. Wait for that bulkhead. If it upsets... It's going to smash. Harriet, run for it. He's loose. Leopard on the loose. Leopard on the loose. Leopard on the loose. Well, the storm's letting up out there, baby. I'm thankful for that. You sure all passengers and crew are staying off that forward deck? Yeah, I've had the carpenter build a barricade. The only way that leopard can get to the rest of the ship is uh, through this door. Good. Now, when we go out, slam this door behind us, but don't lock it. We may have to come through it in a hurry. Right. You know, I I feel somewhat responsible for this. The weather fooled me. If that mate had seen to it that the cage was properly reinforced, it wouldn't have broken loose. Yeah, I know. Scully will be severely disciplined. You ready, Harriet? Oh, yes. Hussein? Hussein! Where is that boy? You call Hussein, Juan? Yes, come on. You mean you want Hussein to go out there? That's right. You said you were a leopard hunter. Hussein hunt Kuching in jungle. Never hunt Kuching on deck of ship. This Kuching is holed up in that pile of baled hay forward. You can pretend it's a jungle. Open the door, Captain Overton. You saw him go in that hay? Yep. 
The bale tumbled down in the storm. There's a sort of tunnel and cave. He streaked right for it. Oh. You suppose he's still in there? No place else he could hide. What are you going to do? Uh, we'll figure some way to get him out. Who's son? Get Paul. Paul? We needed to poke the leopard out. Ah, huh, I get it. You see him, Clyde? Get back, Harriet. Here, Paul. Good. Now, if we can get that cage over the tunnel mouth. But the cage is smashed. Only one side of it. If we get him in it, we can nail it up. Who signed? It's too late. The cat's coming out. Harriet, are you all right? Oh, yes. Where's who signed? She ran. Clyde, who signed left the door open? The cat's heading for it. Keep back, Bertie. I've got the shoe. Hey, miss. Bertie, faster. Get that cat. See the leopard. Must have taken that cross corridor. Come on. Look. Look to the right. The cabin door's open. Ah! Harriet, see if anybody's hurt. I'll follow the cat. Yes. Hey! Hey! Get through there. Clyde, come here. I'm coming. I've got the cat shut in the hole. Look, Clyde. It's Mr. Purdy. He's hurt. Ah. Oh, is, is he dead? Not a scratch on him. Oh. He's fainted. Poor Mr. Purdy. <laughs> I'll bet after this trip, Mr. Purdy won't write any more books about the kindness of jungle beasts. Matey, I still say you better let me shoot that beast. I've got him bottled up in the hold where he can't harm anybody. Sure, you got him in there, but how are you going to get him out? Harriet, you got that rope. Oh, yes, here it is, Clyde. Captain, Chips has finished the job. Carpenter's got your small cage ready, Betty. Okay, Captain, I'm going in after that cat. Uh, you can't capture a leopard with a lariat. No, but if I can get the rope around his neck, we can drag him into the cage. Open the door. Now, shove the cage across the door behind me so you'll have him if he makes a break. It's all set, Betty. Okay, now remember, don't shoot unless you have to, but if you do, shoot to kill. I don't want to be trapped in here with a wounded leopard. Clyde, he's going to spring. I roped him. Move this cage. Let me out of here now. That's it. Now i got to get the rope through the bar. All right, now move it back. Somebody give me a hand with this rope. Here, you, man. Grab this rope. Heave. Carry it. He's in. Drop the cage door. Clyde, something's wrong with the cat. Well, the rope's choking. Give me an axe, somebody. Here, here, take mine. Hurry, Clyde. I gotta get it through the loop. There. Why? Clyde, Clyde, he clubbed you. Just a jungle beast showing his gratitude. He tore your shirt to shreds. Well, I'll do a lot for animals, but that's the first time I ever gave one the shirt off my back. In a moment, we'll bring you a preview of our next thrilling Clyde Beatty show. But first, 